Hey, this is Mr. Buffington. Of course, when I'm out skiing on the weekends, the first thing I think about is math. So let's go see if we can find some math on the slopes. <laughs> hey, it's Mr. Buffington again on a ski lift. And while I was at the slopes, it made me think about slope. So what we're going to do is with a couple of my friends, we're going to demonstrate slope using slopes. So we'll see some ski videos and hopefully help to learn about math at the same time. See you in a bit. So right now I'm going down a slope that's pretty shallow, pretty low slope, which means I can video myself while I'm doing it. My buddies are about to come down too, so I'm going to get them in just a sec. This part here has a bit of a steeper slope. It has, it goes d up and down a little bit faster. And so you'll see that they go a little bit faster as they go through this part here. Ooh, or they fall down. Here we have a pretty steep slope. In other words, it changes up and down pretty quickly. And you'll see that the skiers going past here, my friends who are working with me on this, they're gonna be going much quicker because of the steep slope. They may even try and slow down a bit, but we'll see. Here they come. See? Now after doing a couple of runs, no. After doing a couple of runs, we've seen that if it's more steep, if there's a steeper slope, or the slope is a greater number, that you're gonna go faster and possibly fall down too. Um, and if it's a shallow slope, then that means that you're probably gonna be going sl more slowly. Now. What slope means is how far it moves down, in this case on a mountain you would be going down, or the change in the amount up and down versus the change in side to side. So in our videoing, if it seems to change a lot up and down in the same video slide like inside of this camera window versus changing just a little bit inside of the entire camera window, that means that the slope is changing. So if it changes a little bit, that's a very shallow slope or a low slope, and if it changes a lot, it means that it's a really steep slope. And essentially, in math terms, the change up and down is the rise, and the change from left to right is going to be the run. So let's keep skiing and see what we can see about slope. Alright, I'm going to record myself going down this double black diamond. Oh, okay, you can really see the slope here. This is incredible. There's a huge drop over not a lot of time. Not a lot of distance, I should say. Oh, okay. This should show slope pretty well. I'll see you at the bottom. So that was our day, skiing and looking at slope. I hope that you had fun watching that video. We had a fun time making it. And I hope that it helped you to understand slope a little bit more. If you want to see how to find slope, there are some recordings um, on this YouTube channel and also um, in your mini lessons if you're in my math course. So there's finding slope using a line, finding slope looking at an equation, or finding slope from two different points. There are a couple of different recordings. So go check those out if you want to see some math side of how to find slope. And hopefully this has helped give you a kind of an overall view of what slope is and what it looks like. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time.